What is up guys? We looked at the overall best champions in each role on Monday, but so much has changed I really wanted to go into the roles in a bit more depth. ADs are actually finally starting to do a little bit better now So let's go into my best AD carries to play if you want to climb Remember to like this video if you did dislike it if you didn't but let's jump into the number five spot The Jigs is finally getting better and if I sound happy that's because I am if you didn't realize my logo is even the Jinx Fishbones rocket So yeah, I do love her. She takes a little while to ramp up in the game and that has been a problem for her in season six not really suited for the meta i guess and essence reaver ad's have been spanking her for a while now but to be fair who wouldn't want to spank a jinx right anyway so the meta is getting a little bit slower getting tankier and jinx is way better infinity edge into runins is an insane amount of damage probably one of the highest potential dps in team fires honestly your passive the get excited thing is so overpowered you get one kill or assist and suddenly nobody can hit you and nobody can can escape you. Your lane is not as bad as people think. It's well, it's not amazing either, but with a more active support, you can do a lot. Like hook or knock up into chompers is a crazy combo for a lot of damage. Runins does actually shoot your rocket, so that's AoE crits in a team fight, and it's crazy. If you get ahead on Jinx, it's a lot easier to close out than most other ADs. We've also actually got a buff on the PB as well, where you're shooting your rockets faster, so it's going to be easier, and it might be really strong this patch. So number four, the good old Lucian, honestly. I am actually sad this season. I mean Lucian for a long time and now everybody plays him since the new Essence Reaver was added. But anyway, the new Korean build is crazy strong. If you haven't seen that video, I'll throw it on screen. You should definitely check that out. Basically, you sacrifice your infinite mana pool and crit for more burst and Q and ult damage. It's definitely really strong in my opinion. And with this build, I think maybe he could even be number one on this video. I can't really rank him based on one build though. So he's here, but he's still amazing. He probably has the most well-rounded versatile kit out of any AD carry on so he does a little bit of everything and does it really well. You have your mobility, an insane number of dashes with 40% CDR and your max rank. You have good burst damage, good sustained damage with your passive crits, a good lane phase and a good late game as well. I am biased because he's my best champion but I honestly think you can do well no matter how bad your team is. You at least stand a good chance at getting a lead and carrying a game. Now number three is going to be Ash, actually one of the highest win rate AD carries at lower ranks right now. It does kind of make sense because we have a good lane phase we have high range it's easier to play with a lead as well and you have good poke damage which is hard to deal with her ultimate makes it pretty easy to win games actually like honestly even when i get pooped on in lane i can still do something by grouping and catching people with a good arrow your damage is really insane no more rage blade ash really by the way either it's kind of just infinity edge into runins that's the most common one now the build is really good for kiting and it's going to get through tanks as well your q kind of gives you a bit more burst damage against lower health targets as well which is nice but it also actually shreds tanks even quicker. Your Runa's AoE is going to slow people in team fights, which is definitely underrated but the damage is the biggest thing honestly. You do an insane amount of damage with your Q active and you will rip through an entire team. The downsides definitely are that you get camped a lot in lane. You have no mobility really and she's viewed as an easy target so expect more a jungle attention bot lane sadly and even though her lane is strong I actually don't expect to win it or come out ahead. Team fights is where you go off. So the silver medal is for Sivir, just so well-rounded. High elo players have a running joke that any idiot can play Sivir, and uh, sadly, it's kind of true. You can lose your lane really hard, but all you have to do in fights is press R, press W, and you can get so much work done. In the lane phase, if all else fails, if you're starting to lose, just push, push, push. They can't trade because they are trying to CS and push too, so it's basically a free lane. You're often going to get ganked four as well, like your jungler will come down more because your ultimate is a really easy way in, and poke damage is is really high so you can kind of poke them down before that happens the w ricochet critting is a hundred percent the reason she is still top tier if they remove that again she'd definitely fall off it is stupid how much damage she can do to everyone you can hit the enemy ad by just hitting their tank and it bouncing the entire way through the team you actually have some safety with your spell shield and ultimate speed up you're going to do damage to squishy and tanky targets which is nice and you do abuse essence reaver really well you have your w uptime more because you have more cdr and overall you're easy to play about high impact. The first spot is going to go to Twitch and every single time I talk about Twitch people say he's not great for low elo but this patch his win rate is decent at bronze, silver and gold as well as higher. Yes you do have no mobility and some people are just going to stealth in and die like an idiot but if they do that they're probably going to die on any AD carry. A good Twitch is going to be able to get himself ahead and catch people from 100 to 0 and just completely annihilate them. It's going to kill tanks and squishy targets as well. You're going to position at the very back of a team fight and hit 
everyone and just completely crush. So basically, that means he's good in a 1v1, good in skirmishes, but also really good in team fights. It's pretty rare to be able to do both so well. It's actually kind of hard to deal with a good Twitch, really. Outside of the lane phase, you never know where he is. He could disappear in your lane and kill you. People get caught a lot. And if you don't focus him, he will kill everyone. He's good against the meta ADs, honestly. Only Lucian, actually, in this video might be able to burst him harder. But even then, it's going to be close. So I deliberately spent less time on those five so that I could talk about honorable mentions as well. So the first one, Ezreal, is really good even after the Iceborne nerf. In my opinion, he is so good at carrying bad teammates and kiting over and over. But the downside, the trade-off, is he kind of gets overshadowed in team fights by these kind of Jinx, Sivir, and Ash picks who can DPS a lot more. That is the trade-off, really. You get less overall DPS but more damage from range, so you're less reliant on your team to get your damage off. You don't need someone to go in so he can auto-attack. This is something really important for solo queue and why I think you can actually main Ezreal on the entire way up to Diamond and it can be good in every single game. Cogmore is another one. The new Rage Blade is disgusting on him but it is more expensive too so it kind of slows down his build at this patch a little bit more and the nerf to more and Sterix also hit him. The problem with Cogmore in solo queue is that he's more routine reliant than the others on he. He doesn't really have any utility at all but he does out damage everyone else. He is still really good at high elo. He has a pretty decent win rate but he's not as great at lower elo where teams will probably just let you die. Vayne is another one with the new Rage Blade that is actually pretty good, but it's Blathering King into Rage Blade. Don't ever get the Rage Blade first, it's really not that good. She is decent in this meta, but she's not as good when she's behind. It becomes really hard to get any damage off against fed targets that are common now. If you're really good with Vayne, then you should do better this patch before. Lane should be a little bit easier, and you should be able to do a lot with that Rage Blade combo, or even just a standard build, but if you get behind, then you're gonna struggle. Jin is the last one, kind of falling out of favor a bit with these more auto attack reliant champions coming in. Jin is not really a tank killer. He does okay but he's not great. These more aggressive supports as well also abuse his low mobility more in lane and it's just kind of a bit more difficult to get stuff done now. He is still decent. His ultimate is still busted but it's just not as effective as it was last patch. So these are the best ADs from my experience so far in 6.9. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share but for now let's go to the robots.